Thank you very much. I'm surprised I'm still standing after that good night out we had out after the big day out last night. Where did we go? If any of you Atlantic girls are in the place tonight, both thank you and I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> that Bjork brass section likes to party, let me tell you that right now. Atlantic tradition to mix champagne, red wine, Bailey's, Kahlua, vodka, scotch, whiskey, and tequila all in one night. Apparently that's some sort of Viking heritage. Alright, uh, this song, uh, this is, uh, it's another, another brand new song. This is a song that, um, you know, it was a, a few years ago, you know, there was a, there was a, a moral conundrum in the United States. It had become very, very clear that uh, that the, the war in Iraq, the weapons of mass destruction, that that was a lie. It was very, very clear there were no ties between Iraq and Al-Qaeda and 9-11, that that was a lie. So this moral conundrum, like, what the fuck are we doing? And into that breach stepped our, our commander-in-chief, and he said, you know what? Don't worry, people. It's good that we've been invaded Iraq because we have taken a dictator who tortures his enemies in secret prisons and we've removed him from office by any means necessary. Yeah. That got me to think. <laughs> so we have, a, in my country, have a dictator who tortures his enemies in secret prisons who deserves to be removed by any means necessary. So this song here, this is a song about the, uh, the intake of breath between the waterboarding and the moments between the electric shocks. This is called The King of Hell. Oh, 